Good morning all. Today we're going to talk about a uh, wonderful herb called the Herb of Grace. It's rue. And uh, you may hear a siren off in the distance. It's because uh, as soon as I started this, vi <laughs> started this video, the siren went off. It's a pretty common occurrence. I'm right downtown. Uh, but here we're looking at rue. Uh, it's actually mentioned in the Bible. If you look at Luke 11:42. Um, so if it's mentioned in the Bible, it's probably a pretty important herb. Um, it is a perennial. I got it when it was just a, a wee little little plant. And uh, it grew quite a bit, actually, as you can see. It's actually taken over an area. I had a bunch of herbs in there. Some are still in there, but they're kind of getting overtaken by rue. So we're going to cut it back a little bit and make an herbal tincture. I'll probably dry some as well to keep for tea. Um, you gotta use rue with caution. It's a very bitter herb um, in high quantities. It can actually be toxic. Uh, but in lower qualities, it's very medicinal. Um, it's pretty old. It's good for first aid, like sudden headaches, seizure, indigestion, basically related to parasites, uh, varicose veins, insect repellent, menstrual uh, issues, sight, bronchitis, vertical, Bell's palsy. Maybe Justin Bieber might want to look into that a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can use it fresh, dried, and in this case I'm going to make a uh, herbal tincture. It is very bitter. Um, use, like I said, use with caution. It's uh, um, Good in small quantities, and uh, a lot of Greek dishes use it, kind of a flavor enhancer, so to speak. Um, but uh, in modern kind of taste buds, it kind of fell out of favor a little bit just because of bitterness. Um, do not use if pregnant. Uh, this That could be an issue. Um, so if you're pregnant, do not use rue. Uh, that can cause uh, issues with pregnancy. Um, but other than that, I'm going to just take a little trig here. Yep, very bitter. Um, it's hard to describe, really. Let me try another little piece here. It's, all, it's really difficult to describe the taste of it. It's very unique, I will we'll say that. Um, yeah. Definitely might be something good in the actual dish with other stuff. Um, sometimes they'll be used, uh, sprinkle some in a salad. Again, good for parasites. Um, actually, uh, at one point it was used in exorcisms as well, so... Yeah, I think that has a lot to do with uh, stomach parasites. Um, it can cause issues with mood. So maybe there's uh, something to that. So anyways, uh, if you don't have rue in your herb garden, add it. You know, it's a nice little little uh, herb. And uh, black, I believe it's black swallowtail does eat it as well. In fact, uh, first or second year I had it, uh, I got worried that my plant was going to disappear because uh, one of them found it and was going to town. Um, but as you can see, it recovers very quickly. This is about a four-year-old rube plant, so it, it, it is perennial. Uh, they're very hardy. Uh, even in the winter, um, a lot of it has died back, but there's still some available um, to harvest. So, uh, very hardy uh, plant. It is from the Mediterranean, um, but uh, you can see, it's nice looking. Check it out, Herb of Grace.